All right, my name is Greg Hedrick. Uh, I'm just giving like a quick little uh, tool talk uh, on this uh, little thing I've been playing with. Right, so several years ago, DEF CON, Black Hat, one of those two, you know, they came up with research that you could do uh, wireless injection attacks against wireless keyboards, right? And it was kind of cool, but it wasn't really heavily weaponized until apparently recently-ish, maybe? Somebody wrote this really cool tool called Jacket that uh, actually weaponizes it really easy. Uh, so this is the GitHub repo for it. It's just a simple tool. I'll show you how it works. Uh, all you really need is this uh, <laughs> crazy radio, right? So this tiny little USB dongle. It's like 30 bucks. Uh, special note, you can buy it on Amazon. And if you use smile on Amazon.com and select Secure Iowa City, we get three cents. <laughs> So buy a shit ton of them, right? Uh, anyway, so this is all you need. Uh, once you get one of these, uh, then you just have to flash it with the uh, uh, mouse jack uh, firmware. And quite honestly, of all the things I've ever had to flash in my whole life, this was by far the easiest. It was like two commands, and it worked, which was amazing. And I didn't have to do anything else, right? Uh, so you can, uh, the other thing you can do that I probably didn't mention is you can actually, so the Logitech has the, the unifying like dongles, these tiny little uh, USB uh, wireless dongles. You can actually flash these and do this too. I haven't done that yet, um, but supposedly it works. And I, I, I own a whole bunch of those, so I'll make sure my keyboard works. Yeah, right? <coughs> or you can just get this radio, it's pretty cheap. And there's other things you can do with it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, they do have like add-on expansions, so you can get like a kilometer range on this, which seems a bit steep for a keyboard, but okay, I'm good with that. Uh, so then, uh, anyway, the gist of this is, uh, so it uses radio, and it uses uh, straight up uh, rubber ducky payload scripts. You don't even have to comp compile them. Uh, it just uses the raw script. I don't know if it compiles on the fly. Don't care. It's awesome, but it uses them, right? So there's a ton of payloads uh, on their, on their uh, GitHub for the, the USB rubber ducky. You can write your own. They're super simple, right? So I can just show you one quick. Can anybody see this? How's it going? Oh, there we go. No. There we go. That's pretty nice. All right. So I can. These are the, all the examples that come with it are like troll scripts, right? So it's simple. All it does is uh, do command R, delays for 500 uh, milliseconds, and then runs explorer uh, and then goes to that URL and hit its center, right? That's all that one does. Uh, let's see. This one has a few more things, right? This one calls uh, a PowerShell script. Basically what this one does is it jacks your uh, sound all the way up to high and then plays like it's it's a Barbie girl from YouTube, which is just kind of funny anyway. Right, so anyway, that's, that's Ducky script. It's really simple. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. You can you can run Mimi Cats. You can, uh, you know, put PowerShell payloads out there. Uh, works for there's there's Ducky scripts for whoops. There's Ducky scripts for uh, Windows, Linux, Mac, uh, OS. Anyway, they're all out there. They're pretty straightforward. That's all that piece does. So <coughs> uh, the other catch to this is so two caveats with this. Number one, uh, it doesn't have to be a keyboard because we're ejecting against the uh, the USB device. So if your target has just a wireless mouse. We don't care, right? Because we're just injecting commands uh, to the, the dongle, not to the actual device, right? So uh, when we, uh, I work for a very large insurance company, and I was over at the office last week, and we kind of wandered around one floor, and there was like 60 of these devices uh, on one floor, and when we looked around, most of them were just mice. Uh, so, uh, whoops, I did not mean that. So it's pr it's pretty common. Uh, let's see other things I was going to show you. So. What this has been tested on, right? So they, they provide this list of devices. Um, zoom. Uh, they provide this list of devices. Uh, the only one that we can currently record keystrokes on is the uh, Microsoft one at the top, or at least the only one they've tested against, uh, because they use XOR encryption um, for the keystrokes. So we can actually log those if we wanted to. Um, the rest of them use actual uh, encryption, I guess. I didn't test them. Um, this list is not exhaustive by any means. The keyboard I have here is one of these Logitech uh, K750s, uh, but uh, again,
again, we're really just looking for the dongle, uh, and I know mice that I have at home that worked that this worked with, and another keyboard uh, that isn't on this list. So it's it, this is not exhaustive by any means. Uh, but you'll find most of what we saw when we kind of did our little survey were the Logitech style anyway, right? Uh, let's see, yada yada yada. There's nothing really else in here that was cool, so we'll just kind of show you how it works. Oops. So all you got to do, jack it. Okay, so here's the usage, right? Uh, only things that are really useful. Script, uh, and then you see the path to whatever your ducky script is. Uh, low power mode. So uh, we were having a conversation with us about th about this at work. So in in a in a location where you have relative certainty that you're not picking up other keyboards, then you're probably okay because uh, it seemed like it could pick up a fairly good range, uh, maybe maybe 50 yards or so. So if you're like in a downtown office building where there's people above you, people below you that might be out of scope from what you're testing, you may want to turn on low power mode so that you're only getting things like in the general vicinity. Uh, so that, that's one catch, right? So we're just broadcasting out. There's no way, and I'll show you this, there's really no way to identify which device you're targeting. So it's kind of like spray and pray, which is awesome. Um, but th the office I work in is a very, very large building, kind of out in its own space. Odds are we're not getting any other like uh, crossover traffic from another business. Uh, but if I was to sit downtown, and, and I'm going to turn this on, and we may see a bunch more, but uh, just just be forewarned, it's it's yeah, it's guessing, right? Uh, so address. So if you know the hardware address of the target, which the interesting thing is on this particular keyboard anyway, it doesn't say the hardware address because it's part of that dongle. So you have no idea. So it's not like you can walk into an office building, pull up a hard, uh, pull up a hard, uh, a keyboard and say, hey, this is the hardware address, this is what I'm going to target. You have no idea. It sucks. Uh, but it's still cool. Um, let's see, Autopone just automatically ki kicks off uh, uh, the ducky script that you selected on everything that it can inject into, which is really fun. Um, yeah, get key logging for the uh, XOR encrypted uh, Microsoft keyboards. So, all right, all we got to do, Uh, we'll just set the interval to, and I didn't put a script in this time, right? So it'll scan every two seconds for a keyboard, and if we kind of like make some, I've got it hooked up to this laptop in the front so that you can at least see um, when I do something. You won't be able to read it, and that's fine, um, but you'll at least be able to see. This is magical. You'll at least be able to see that I did something. Maybe I need to bring it closer, I don't know. There it is. Okay. So now, uh, so like I, uh, I said, you, you don't know, this is all they tell you about it, right? A bunch of hardware addresses, some sort of like a, a packet number. What the hell's that? I have no idea, but at least tells me it's a Logitech hit. So I guess if you're sitting next to one, you can say, yeah, that's it. Um, so then all you gotta do, so I didn't do a script. So if you provide a script, Right now, it'll start it again. This is kind of a feature I don't really like that you can't do it this way, but I'll give it a second to catch back up. Come on in, buddy. Give it up. Uh, so anyway, you can you can specify the address if you know exactly what you're targeting, but I don't know how you would know that uh, unless you did it before. Unless you target that specific one. Sometimes, uh, other caveats, sometimes I've noticed that it doesn't quite identify the type um, that it comes up with, and so it'll say unknown under the type instead of uh, Logitech hid. Uh, when that happens, sometimes you can inject into it, and sometimes it just says, oh, it's not injectable, and it just dies, and you got to restart it. But maybe that's why you just use the autopone functionality. Did it fall asleep? Oh, there you go. Okay. See, oh, this is perfect, right? So it came up with unknown. Uh, so it's going to be like, eh, oh, shit, that's not the right device. Yeah, it's a different device. So. <laughs> 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 Whoop.
Well, then, all right, there's our device right there. Uh, so odds are the, the <laughs> unknown one, and since this is being recorded, I definitely will not inject into the unknown one because that's not mine. Uh, but anyway, so once you get that, control C it, then you can say select your target, and because numbering is hard, two is on top, what the hell? So don't screw that up, or you can just hit enter for all. <coughs> and you should see on the machine up the front, I don't know if everybody can see it or not. I'll prop it up on my laptop bag so you can at least see like shit's gonna pop around on the screen. There'll be colors, it'll be fun. It doesn't, uh, oh yeah, probably won't, but uh, you'll see things pop up, you won't get the nine cat, right? So then all it does, boop, text completed. And over here on this one, we should see stuff come up. Yeah, right, so it failed because it didn't have an internet connection, but that's what it was. So that's it, that's the funness. Any questions? Did you get it tomorrow? <laughs> right, yeah, so, so what I was telling, uh, what I was telling Zach, what prompted this is one of the guys I work with uh, is a big uh, physical test guy, and he was like scrolling through twiddle, Twitter one day, and some guy's like, you know, I used to clone badges and actually break into buildings, and now I just sit in the parking lot and get shells all day long. And he's like, whoa, what, what, huh? So he went back and like uh, scrolled through his feed and figured this out, so yeah, it's pretty slick. Cody. No, not that I'm aware of. You should. I mean, it's just two. It's 2.4 gig gigahertz wireless, right? So you should be able to do something. I mean, you, maybe not me. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody else? That's it. It was cool. It took me about I don't know two minutes to flash this thing with the right firmware uh, to get it to do this, and then. You know, like all my neighbors, stuff's been going crazy all day long, I'm sure. This is, I think, Python. Yep. This is Python. That's it. Peace out. Don't hack your neighbors.